All right, this is more work with uh, John Bedini's Earthlight, and uh, this uh, video is really for John. I got this uh, little inductor built here that we talked about and uh, set up the circuit uh, the way we talked about it. And I've got the uh, uh, cell inside a plastic bottle. I found a uh, water bottle that was the right size and diameter, cut it off, and then uh, now I have this inside uh, almost like a terrarium kind of a thing to keep the humidity high inside that. And uh, this new uh, circuit brought the amp draw way down. Look at that, 7.8 milliamps. And um, this is the waveform right there. Let me refresh this and I'll show you how it looks here. Uh, it's kind of a jiggy jaggy thing, but uh, it does, uh, does look about right. Now the thing about this is, uh, this has got an extra pulse here. Uh, right in here it kind of brings down, then there's an extra pulse. I found out there's multiple frequencies, at least on my setup, and I don't uh, quite understand uh, the dynamic of that. I did put a potentiometer on it to look at it, uh, different uh, settings. And then uh, this is connected between the, the uh, negative rail and the outside of that LED going back to the positive rail. Now let me put this on the collector and I'll show you what that looks like. It looks like your original screenshot that you showed um, on the first video. Let me get this refreshed here. And it's just like what you showed in one of your first videos there. And uh, it's about uh, 4 volts on this thing. If I bring this uh, where it's supposed to be, line everything up, look at the right divisions, I've got about a 4 volt spike coming out of here. These are 2 volt divisions here, and uh, there's two of them, so that's about over 4 volts. But my frequency is rather interesting. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's running at 51 kilohertz. And there's multiple frequencies, but this is about the dominant one, around 50 kilohertz. And um, I thought that was pretty interesting that uh, it would be doing that. So anyway, that's where I'm at with this. Uh, thanks for all the help, John. And like I say, I've got this thing uh, running now the way we talked about it. It wasn't that hard. And uh, I did put a potentiometer here um, instead of the 1K to fiddle around with it. And that gave me some adjustment. So uh, it works. It uh, brought the amp draw right on down. We'll just have to see how long this bad boy runs. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.